questions in time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, John Ritters. One, uh, sir, under rules? Yeah, 267. Sir, this is a house of states which has to discuss about the issues concerned in the, yeah, please, concerned in the please, federal principles just, just of the wait, wait. country. Sir, the your, motion, the your motion UPT not drawn in proper sir. terms, Chairman has not allowed this. your motion, sir, please allow motion me, not sir. drawn in sir, proper sir, terms, allow me to Chairman has not allowed sir. it. Please. Sir, please Chairman allow has not allowed it. Point, I will... sir. Sir. Uh, Mr. K. C. Ramurthy, Mr. K. C. Ramurthy, on general budget, Mr. K. C. Ramurthy. speak on the people friendly progressive and forward looking budget presented by honorable finance minister sir so it is not only forward looking but it is atmanirbhar bharat budget which brings with it new energy strength and push our developing trajectory so when i say people friendly budget it means the budget is for common people i say progressive budget because there are schemes for every sector one can very easily see this if one reads the budget with an open mind I say it is forward-looking as the achievable targets fixed, keeping in mind our country's growth for the next couple of years. So here I would like to mention with, the, what, with what objectives our budgets were formulated over years. So in the pre-New India and the present New India, there is a fundamental difference in economic thought. These differences are reflected in all previous governments and the budget presented before Sri Narendra Modi ji became the Prime Minister. So from 1948, the thought was socialistic pattern of society and after eight years, 1956, it was repressed as democratic socialism. And after a decade, it was innovated as welfare state. And after a few years, the slogan Garbi Atavo came into existence. Sir, after this, the change in narratives continued till recently, highlighting right-wing philosophy or left-wing philosophy. Sir, Sri Narendra Modi's biggest economic vision is ending this narrative and resurrecting pro-people economic policy and budget beyond the left and right dichotomy. Whenever and whatever good to the people that ends in socio-economic empowerment of different sectors of society has become the main vision of the government. The economic fundamentalism is what I call Semitic thought in right and left propaganda. Right say priority should be given to the private sector and left say public sector is the priority. For Modi ji and our government, it is the people sector that matters, not left or right. Whatever is good for the country and its people is reflected in the budget and not what left and right profess. So Modi ji ended the colonial hangover on the budget from 20th February, which was colonial inheritance that was blindly followed by the subsequent governments to 1st February, which is more practical and in tune with our accounting standards. So what is experienced now is a tremendous increase in the horizon and participation in budget preparation. Earlier, the marginalized classes were treated as clients but now they are treated as stakeholders and are extensive cons extensively consulted. The earlier budgets before 2014 carried the colonial mindset and Western thought process, and our budgets truly reflect the Republican and Indian spirit, sir. So a lot has been said about PM Gati Shakti. I don't wish to repeat the points which have been extensively discussed by my esteemed friends, but I only say that seven drivers or engines of Gati Shakti are like seven horses that Lord Surya has for his chariot, which symbolizes warmth and life. As they move across, they move, remove darkness and usher in light. Not just this, seven horses also symbolize seven colors of rainbow. Similarly, seven engines of Gati Shakti, roads, railways, airports, ports, mass transport, waterways, and logistic infrastructure usher in a new horizon of integrated and transformative approach for economic growth, sustainable development, and full economy in unison. So these engines are complemented by energy transmission, energy transmission, IT, water, and seaways and social infrastructure. So this coordinate approach with the reins horse of the horses firmly in the hands of Honorable Prime Minister, it will certainly drive the country to reach new horizons in development. So COVID has crippled every single economy and every single country of the world, and India is no exception. Right from US with 7.6 crore cases at top Tonga and top to Tonga and Micronesia at the bottom left none and engulfed all. The resilience shown by every Indian under the leadership of beloved Prime Minister Sri Modi ji guided the country right through the pandemic, be it relating to vaccination or providing free food grains to poor and migrant labor by incurring more than 2.5 lakh crores or providing impetus to every single sector, be it through Atmanirbar package, monetary or fiscal measures or COVID diplomacy. Sir, not a single country, not, not a single country in the world, including the most developed country like US, has taken up supplying free food grains to poor on such mammoth scale as we did. 
సార్ హార్మల్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ అంటే ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ గరీబ్ కళ్యాణ్ అన్న యోజన ఫస్ట్ సెకండ్ థర్డ్ అండ్ ఫోర్త్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్త్ ఫేజ్ హెస్ సో ఫార్ గివెన్ మోర్ దెన్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ ల్యాక్ మెట్రిక్ టన్స్ అండ్ హెస్ ఇన్కర్ అండ్ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఆఫ్ టూ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ ల్యాక్ క్రోర్స్ ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ సచ్ మ్యాసివ్ హెల్ప్ ఇన్ టు పోర్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ సప్లైంగ్ ఫుడ్ గ్రైన్స్ ఫ్రీ ఆఫ్ కాస్ట్ హెస్ ఎవర్ హ్యాపెన్ ఇన్ ద ఈస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఇండియా అండ్ ఫర్ ఫర్ దట్ మ్యాటర్ ఇన్ ఎనీ కంట్రీ ఆన్ ద గ్లోబ్ సార్ హనబుల్ ఫైనాన్స్ మినిస్టర్ డిజర్స్ కాంప్లిమెంట్ సిన్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ హర్ మినిస్ట్రీ విచ్ పూల్డ్ రిసోర్సెస్ ఫర్ దిస్ మ్యాసివ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సో ఇన్ పార్లమెంటరీ డెమోక్రసీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ దట్ అపోజిషన్ విల్ డూ లాజికల్ క్రిటిసిజం విచ్ కెన్ బికమ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ అండ్ హెల్ప్ ఇన్ పాలసీ ఫార్ములేషన్ బట్ వాట్ ఐ ఫౌండ్ ఈస్ దట్ మెనీ ఆఫ్ మై లర్న్ అండ్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది అపోజిషన్ బ్లైండెడ్ బై యాంటీ మోదీజం ఐ ప్రిఫర్ టు టేక్ టు ఇన్ లాజికల్ క్రిటిసిజం విచ్ ఓన్లీ లోవర్స్ దేర్ క్రెడిబిలిటీ వాట్ ద మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది అపోజిషన్ ఫెయిల్ టు రియలైజ్ ఈస్ దట్ న్యూ ఐండ్ ఇస్ నాట్ పాలిమికల్ స్లోగన్ బట్ ఎ కాన్సెప్ట్ విత్ సబ్స్టెన్స్ there is visible paradigm shift under the leadership of narendra modi ji and this is reflected in the budget the budget is a reflection of sri narendra modi's vision which is not only for india but is emulated as a vision for many other developing countries sir i see this budget aims to boost the growth and create employment by investing hugely on infrastructure and capital expenditure so 48000 crores given to completing 80 lakh houses under prime minister awas yojana and spending huge and social sector schemes and programs without forgetting the security of the country and one can see nearly 50000 crores increase in 5.25 lakh crores for defense and compared to the last year's allocation of 4.78 crores sir so such deputy chairman sir with announcements made by finance minister on digital currency we become the ninth country along with china uae nigeria hong kong thailand etc to have our own digital currency fm also made announcement of imposing 30% tax on digital assets it means indian crypto investor intending to transfer assets to exchanges in other countries or wallets then he has to pay 30% tax in income accrued not just this there is also an announcement that rbi will issue digital rupee using blockchain and other technologies from the coming financial year these measures will revolutionize fintech honorable prime minister has also said that digital rupee will revolutionize the fintech sector by creating new opportunities and lessen the burn burn in handling printing logistics and management of cash so it has been observed in recent past particularly during ipl and t20 world cup matches unabated advertisement by crypto players bombarding people on all platforms and prompting and provoking them to invest in spite of the fact that cryptocurrency is unregulated digital currency and not a legal tender not just this some crypto exchanges some crypto exchanges have also started podcasts and other collaborations to attract investment on their exchanges popular film stars and celebrities promoting crypto currency trading will definitely influence mindset of indians and thinking that all is well with cryptocurrency and cleverly all advertisers just mention a li- thin line at the end cryptocurrency is an unregulated digital currency not a legal tender and subject to market risk and nobody can see this sir sir and i compliment honorable finance minister for starting to regulate crypto assets having their own digital currency and tax transactions i also request honorable prime minister and the finance minister to regulate misleading advertisements on cryptocurrency and direct them to give clear picture of implications of investment in crypto assets so i'll take only one more minute sir sir opposition has been making fun of uh, make in india sir what is make in india what is wrong in make in india and why should anybody object to that is is a sin to become self sufficient do you want india to be in the position to ship to mouth do you want depend on foreign countries for our defense requirements we were depending on other countries even for nuts and bolts for a defense equipment what is wrong in becoming atmanirbhar in defense so that we don't become parasite of our defense needs is it is with this very objective honorable finance minister has given push to demo, domestic defense industry this government never in the history of independent india has earmarked 68% of capital procurement budget of armed forces earmarked for domestic industry the result is we rapidly become atmanirbhar and this propels economic activity and provides employment opportunities defense r&d is open for private sector startups helping private sector to work with drdo and other defense institutions sir all sectors which help our economy to grow stronger have been given more importance and allocations have been made accordingly the budget as i mentioned earlier sir is people friendly progressive and futuristic only our learned friends from opposition should view this with open mind and not with anti modi mania and this will certainly appreciate the intrinsic value and principles in the growth oriented budget with these submissions sir i want to extend my compliments and greetings to the honorable finance minister for presenting a budget which aims to transform the country and drive smoothly in amrit kal to become a force to reckon with in the committee of nations thank you very much sir dhanyawad maniya sadasya gan maniya sadasya gan
ನಾವು ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ 